Two men are arrested in Sunday's mass shooting that left six people dead, at least a dozen injured. Some of the victims have been released from the hospital. And today, one of those shooters will appear in court for the very first time. Fox 40's Claudette Stefanian is live downtown explaining the charges he is facing and his criminal record. Claudette, good morning. Good morning to you, May and Melanie. You know, this just coming into our newsroom about that second arrest. 27-year-old Smiley Martin, he's the brother of the other suspect that's in police custody. He's also been arrested. And Smiley was struck by gunfire the morning of the shooting. He was taken to a hospital since then. He's been deemed a person of interest. While at the hospital, he's been under the supervision of an officer, and we're hearing from authorities once he wraps up his care there, he will be taken to the jail. That's where he will be booked on suspicion of possessing a machine gun and possessing a firearm as a prohibited person. Now, Mayor Daryl Steinberg took to Twitter responding to that latest arrest, saying, quote, Thank you to all the hardworking officers in the Sacramento Police Department who have worked so methodically and quickly to apprehend suspects in this horrific shooting. Smiley's brother, 26-year-old DeAndre Martin, was the first suspect in the shooting to be brought into police custody. He's been arrested on charges of assault with a deadly weapon and being a convicted person carrying a loaded firearm. While Martin does face these specific charges, he's not been charged with murder. Jennifer... Wowses, a criminal defense attorney who served as a Sacramento County prosecutor for almost a decade, says it's possible for prosecutors to charge suspects with smaller offenses with the intention of elevating the charges if appropriate. The reason you would do that is so that the person is no longer in the community. If you think they're in danger, it allows you to put them in custody, raise the bail to a point where they will remain in custody and, until you determine whether or not they are uh, chargeable for the murder offense. Martin has previous run-ins with the law. He also has an outstanding warrant to a 2014 domestic violence case in Riverside County. He pleaded guilty in that case. Court records show he did not finish the court-ordered punishment. Now, back out here live, DeAndre Martin has been held without bail. He's expected to make his first court appearance later this morning. Now we are dealing with two arrests connected with this shooting. Authorities have come out and said that they are expected to make other arrests in connection with this. So, of course, we'll have to see what plays out from here and if additional arrests end up happening. Reporting from downtown Sacramento, Claudette Stefani and Fox 40 News. And we do want to reiterate one more time, both of these men are not being charged with the murder of the six victims that we know have been killed in this shooting. Police continue to ask the public to send in video or any information, pictures as well, that they may have from Sunday in downtown. Thank you, Claudette.